Hey guys, William Murphy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be cleaning up the cylinder head. So I've called a few garages uh, today, and surprisingly, a lot of them don't have the facility to do um, like parts cleaning. So typically, it's a big drum. You've got some engine degreaser in there, and you spray this stuff on, you brush it in, you wash it off, you airline it dry. Um, I thought this was quite a common practice, but I'm guessing with the modern age of cars now, it's just it's just not the done thing. You know, people tend to maybe replace parts rather than repair them. However, I contacted uh, a local garage to me, and uh, they specialise in. Um, custom cars and American cars especially so I'm going there now to use their parts cleaner so I'm gonna clean up the cylinder head using that uh, yesterday evening I ground all of the um, actual head down polished the uh, inlet valves as well so it's much more um, really cleaner and streamlined but I've just got a bit of swarf inside there so I'm just trying to try and clean that out so let's get down the road and get to this place because this place is awesome, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> right, sorted. Thank you to these absolute legends. Formerly uh, Penguin Speed Shop now known as PSS Automotive. I don't want to ruin the workshop. Um, yeah, they've got some insane cars here. I'll show you a quick glimpse as we drive out, but I'm going to come back and do some filming here another time. For now, these guys are ace. This is some of the stuff they've got. Old Mustang. Another Mustang on the back. Absolutely beautiful. I will be back. Okay, so here is the cylinder head. It's all nice and cleaned up. You use some engine degreaser in a parts cleaner. Just flip it over onto its top. And you can see I've cleaned all in there. It's still gonna have to get wiped a few times because there was some stuff inside that needed to come out. I'll flip up again. You can see where I've cleaned up and slightly polished the inlet valves. The exhaust valves I'm not going to do anything with other than just clean them out. And then the top of the engine just had a bit of a clean as well. So that's now ready for some paint and for these valves to go back in the engine. Next job is to clean up and then relap the valves so uh, that's going to be the next thing to do uh, I have cleaned quite a lot of this but I've got my grinding paste which is going to be a, a coarse and a fine so I'll start with the coarse and then work with the fine take the valve back out clean all the stuff up and then um, bolt it all back together once that's done coat of paint right so I'm just cleaning up these valves and I'm on the last one and this is what the valves look like so they're a bit minging and all this like stuff is just burnt on carbon and the same for the, let's put this here same for the actual uh, face of it so what I've done is I've cleaned them all up and now looking like this so much much better I'd love to see them using a bench grinder but I haven't got one so what I am using is a grinder with a wire wheel and I'm gently just scraping the surface so I'll show you how I'm doing this so it's holding the very tip of this in a vise like so air defenders on
So my valve is now pretty clean. On the face of it, it's clean. On actual stem, it's clean. So what you want to try and achieve is the fact that all this is nice and smooth, so the air flows through, and then obviously in the exhaust ones, the all the gases flow through nicely without any disturbance. And that way there, you get a much better performing engine. So that's them cleaned up. The next step is to fit them into the head and lap the valves in. So I've got my grinding paste and I've got my lapping tools. I'll take my valve, seal it in place, just to make sure that it's gonna flow back and forth nicely, which this one here is. And also, check any up and down play. And that's gonna make sure that the, sort of the shaft it sits in is gonna be good. And then when I put the valve paste on the edge of the seat here, which is the sort of the angled section, and you can see the, the angled section here inside the head, as that valve gets put into place. So as that valve gets put in place, I want to lap it like so, using these tools, and you can work it like this. And what you're trying to do is recut or regrind a, a seat on the valve. Ideally, this bit here will be like nice and shiny and polished. So as the valve opens, the exhaust gases and the inlet fuel, uh, the air will come in, and the exhaust gases will go out. Obviously, this like valve, and then when it's sealed, it creates a complete seal, and the compression there is goes through the roof, creates your spark, allows the spark to ignite, creating that explosion inside there, and then push the gases out through the exhaust, and away we go. So, you put a little blob onto the valve, work it all the way around. Put the valve in the bore. I'm taking my tool. I'm just working it. Let's fit the spring and the top hat over the top of that valve. And you can seat that onto the, um, the position. But you have these individual holes. Using my newly modified compression tool, we have to weld the plate around the outside because it started pushing the sides out. So what I want to do is make sure that the valve is pushed down far enough so I can see the end and then I can fit the collets. One goes on one side. Okay, so I've just used this little tiny bit of grease to make sure that sticks onto there. Um, the taper is going from thicker to thinner, so as that spring lifts up, it will produce and clamp onto place. So, 
unwind that then. springs have all been put back on. So the only thing left to do once it's on the block is to refit the rockers and the rocker cover uh, and the posh rods. So um, while it's off I'm going to give it a coat of paint. <laughs> 